ice crystal. And to make my frame, what I want to do is just pop it in. I'm going to cut it off. Now, normally, I would say that the card is 21, but I'm going to cut it at 22 because I do want to add a tab to the frames. It just makes them nice and tucked in tight on the yeah. corners there. So, 22. And then you're going to rotate that round and cut it off at seven and a half. Now, it's important to say, don't worry if you don't catch all of these because you do get your instruction sheet with the one day special to make frames and you also get it for your 10 card folds and then we've also popping in the memory book ones as well. So you'll have a lot to keep you occupied. Okay. Um, so this one then I would cut off at, was it 16? Yeah, 16. So I've, it's only going to take me one sheet of the ice crystal to make the frame. Okay. I'm going to rotate that round, cut that at seven and a half. And they are my four sides. I'm so, thinking if you've got pictures at home that you want to put on the wall, it's expensive to buy frames now. It, Even at some of the like um, economic shops, it's yes. still expensive, especially if you've got uh, you know four or five pictures you want to put up. Yeah, and I mean we discussed earlier because you'd got a nice picture. And, I can quickly work things out, but it doesn't matter what it is. I could frame this. I could frame <laughs> this. I could yeah. frame my stamping platform. Could you frame me? If I'd got... I don't want to sound <laughs> rude, but yes, if my card was big enough, I could. And I'd, <laughs> obviously, you're not big, but you know what I mean. That's all right, Hazel. <laughs> <laughs> she look Hazel. Right, half a centimetre. We've got the short edge at the top. Then we're going to one and a half. And then we're going four and five. Rotate clockwise so that you've got that short edge at the top. That sh thin one, that's going to be your sticky down tab. Okay. Uh, then we're going to do a centimetre and then three and a half just to that second line. Now what that does, now I can get rid of it. We want to make, it's going to probably be hard for you to see this, but we want to make a little tab. So I'm just going to kind of, at an angle, cut out and then going to fold that back because I want to keep it safe. I want to keep that tab there. Okay. So we cut this piece away and then snip at an angle to the bottom of that score line that we've done to the second line. Then if I just turn that round, we can snip that away. It's at this point that I then add on my red liner tape. Now, I'm going to choose three millimetres because I've only got a half a centimetre tab, so I know that that will fit in there perfectly. And I do believe we, we have got a mix on the website, but we've also got some singles available. So if you only like using the three mil, we've got a bundle of three mil, and the same for the six mil, the nine mil, and the 12 mil. There you go. There is what you're getting, 9 99 and they're in bundles of five. So you've got the three mil for 9 99 150 metres in total. There's options for 6 9 and 12 if you want. It's all the same price, isn't it? 9 99 whether you're going for 6 9 or 12 I'm not sure. Ah, I know the, the six mil is 11 99 Yes, the quantities more. differ. So as yes. you go up the millage, yes. the quantities go down. Yes. Because obviously they get uh, more expensive the, the wider yeah, that course. they are. Uh, the six millimeter you get four of those so four of those together still excellent value for money and a great way to stock up as well um it is raining outside we can you hear know, the well, rain i was going to say that and i thought am i allowed to it's yes. really raining i know i just i just might have to at, swim home at matt and i, and I went <laughs> it's raining and it's really it's plummeting down so if you are at home um, well, you will be because you're watching us, unless you're watching us on the app. Um, just stay in and enjoy the shows and let's get crafty together. Right, so at this point, I face down. It's If I was making this, this frame here, where I've got lots of detail and that yeah. on there, it's at this point that I'd get my ink pads out and I'd be waving them over there or if I'm going to stamp onto it. You do that before you fold it normally, but this one in particular is going to be plain because I'm going to put something else on the top. So you turn it over and fold all of those score lines toward you. And then take off your backing. Fold and on the what's, second what's line. The mil, what's the mill of the tape you're three using mil. again? Three mil. Three, Great. yeah. Fold it on the second line down and then bring the bottom up and that naturally finds its place. And then fold it that way so you get that perfect... Yeah. 
shape. Can I ask a question, Hazel? You know yeah. you're using the three mil at the moment. Yes. Um, could you still use the three mil if your folds were bigger, or would you recommend going for a larger? Width I would of tape? go up the millage. I like that word. I'm just going to use like it because millage, I do yeah. like it. So, for instance, if my tab was one centimeters, yep. I would use the nine mil which right. is that one, yep. because it's just short of the one centimetre. If I'd got a one and a half centimetre, I'd go for my 12 right. mil um, and do it that way, because you want to put your red liner tape down, but you don't want to interfere with the fold line, yeah. so it needs to be a bit smaller, really. So it might be worthwhile having a look at the different millage. Millage, millage. yes, indeed. To coin a phrase, I love that. Um, and treat yourself to maybe a couple of the sizes. It's always handy to have, handy, and all Leicester then, it's always handy to have, isn't it? <laughs> So at this stage, just take off the um, little bits of tape that you popped on your tabs and get them all the same way around. Now, because it's not a square frame, you need to be mindful that you've got them in the right order. Otherwise, it's not going not gonna to work. And how do I know? Because I've done it wrong before. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you just push your finger in there and stick that tab down, move it along, stick the next one in, and just do that on all four. That gives you your little sausagey train. Yep. And then you're going to need some tacky glue. And now, just in here, this flat area, that's where you're going to glue. Okay. But you can also put a little bit on that side. Yep. So I haven't, I'm going to put one on there. And what glue are you using? Um, there? This is our new glue, which will be here soon. Okay. I think it's actually landing tomorrow but i think we'll have it on our next show which is when claire's here which will be the 7th of january fabulous it it just got held up with everything that's going on did it's... it get stuck <laughs> in the ports <laughs> <laughs> yes it did <laughs> <laughs> hopefully so it'll come unstuck soon. you just fold those in on themselves look yep that catches around when you get to the last one just took that last tab in and then give it a little tap, make sure it's all in. Use your mat, because you don't, if I squash it that way, look, it goes wonky. So make sure that you're all nice and tight. We want it nice and square. Use your mat to help you. Got you. When you're happy with that, turn it over. This is where, if any little corners are sticking out, just get your scissors and snip them off. Got you. Um, it's just where you've scored and you've perhaps not cut up the line straight. So get rid of that. 12 millimetre, this is where this comes in too. I'm just going to put, you see, like, because I'm using the 12, it's covering up all of that area for me. So I'm not going to have to put, if I was using 3 mil, I'd, I'd want to put two strips of each down there. So that's if that. I want, if I wanted to decorate the frame, yeah. um, would we do that before or after? Exactly before. Right. Um, I'm not going to say you weren't listening, but I did say. <laughs> I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking. People join us every okay, six minutes. Okay, I'll or let so. you off. Yeah. So got out of that one. Keep it flat, and and add your inks. And even if you're stamping, like um, on occasions, I've put my picture. This stamps around there. Yeah. The little buildings, and they look oh. amazing. They really do. Um, so now I can either stick onto there like that, or I do prefer to do that get it lined up and drop that flat down so that's given me my card I then and I have prepared some bits I wanted to cut a frame from the chocolate to go on there yeah so but I also this was by accident I cut it at the wrong size so I had to take another half a centimeter off so now I've got two frames and I really liked that to go inside oh. So I did it wrong again on purpose so that I'd got that extra bit. But that's just done on your trimmers. Um, we do lots of those on here. Yep. Um, but the size of the card is 14 and a half by 20 and a half. And it's a two centimetre frame. And then that's a half centimetre frame. this is true card making, isn't it? It's, it's it is. About you just are making it from yeah. scratch. I love that. Let's go down for a little bit of this. So a bit of speckled egg. And now, I'm going to go. Is this the musical notes that this you're using? This is the musical yeah. one from the this rose set. This is from the set. rose stamp yeah. set. And you've got musical notes. It's absolutely beautiful. It really is. And they're at great prices. It's the um, A5 floral stamp set 
14.95 you've got a few options so that's your sunflower wishes with your happy birthday with love and best wishes that's your decorative sunflower I do like that one then you've got your daisies beautiful with the bees and the dragonflies and leaves and then you've got flowers and verses I think that could be a cornflower there uh, 14 pounds and 95 pence 989782 we've also got the magnificent texture stamps I love these oh my word and in the earlier show Hazel was demonstrating the fact that you can put these side by side if it's the same one and it's just seamless so you can extend that pattern um, it really is beautiful I've got a lovely sample here um, the rose stamp set that Hazel's using um, it comes with card and you've got the musical notes stamp that Hazel is using now you've got the beautiful roses mm. alongside that pink and red it's true red it's true green and I do believe that goes through to the core it does indeed yes, yes. I'm learning I really am <laughs> um, look at this isn't that fabulous absolutely love this so this has been used with that textured stamp using that lovely one day special cardstock isn't that fabulous I love the um, I've got a piece a couple of pieces here which I will show you because they were from yesterday's show but the first thing I wanted to do was just show everybody by just dragging a pad at different angles across it made this beautiful um, patterned cardstock that you can then proceed to die cut um, and it matched in with my theme um, so this is the ice crystal now normally that size card to decorate would absolutely scare me yeah. but to be able to build wow. up your pattern papers because it's going to be chopped into portions it really doesn't matter but it's that's got three colors on there and then these were the other sorts so this was a pickup um, and in the break what I've done is I've cut them all to size and inked around them but they're different pickups so off my glass mat off my heat proof mat off my mixed media mat um, getting them wet spritzing them and just different pickups they're all going to my um, memory book yeah. at the end do you know what I mean if yeah, I get a chance brilliant. I'll be popping them in it during the yeah. show but they're going to be little pages for uh, but yeah love this this type of oh my word I like that that's on the star pop out uh, star triple card that you've got that way um, in fact I've, I've got one here look look at the background on here it's it's got the texture stamps on there it's got the script on there um, opening it up the oh the seed, no, you've got them. You've I've, got it. Yeah, I've got one here. <laughs> this one's um, not finished. It's, it's, I think it's absolutely fantastic. I'll just open that up yeah. and turn that around. Um, and all this was made with the one day special cardstock that we've got. Two sheets of card. That's wow. it. One chocolate, one cream. Um, I've got something to tell you. <laughs> I've got something to tell you. Starry eyes. <laughs> Starry, starry eyes. Oh dear. Hey, why erase a lifetime of laughter, eh? That's what I always say. I've got news for the one day special. We're limited stock. Limited stock. Oh, we've got another show at four o'clock. People buying between. I don't know whether we'll get any more. Remember, this is uh, limited, as in after the one-day special finishes, whether we get any extended delivery or not, we're not sure whether it's coming back. Um, it is a fabulous deal, and it's absolutely beautiful. This is going to be fantastic for your masculine card, your grungy card. It's beautiful to add pops of colour to as well, so you can really make your cards pop out, that beautiful chocolate duo card. Um, which is fantastic. Also with your one-day special, you get 10 folds, uh, which means you can fold instantly your card into 10 different looking cards, easel cards, gatefold cards, uh, and really become that paper engineer similar to our Hazel. I say similar because Hazel is out of this world. She really is at what she does. Um, and if you are as good as Hazel, email in and let's see your designs. We'd love to see them. Um, so all of that, you will now become a paper engineer. But only if you get it in your basket. 580-989 your item number, saving £14. 100 sheets of cardstock. It is amazing value for money. And that's why we're limited stock. Back to Hazel. Yes. Right, so all I've done is I've stuck my frame onto the front so that's given me a lovely little border around there and I've got the little detail showing from the oxide the chalk showing up on that frame there just kept it subtle inside I have oh, wow. prepared a piece of paper um, 
the crystal and I've just scuffed some ink on it and I'm going to show you how I achieved that on this piece. I'm loving um, this grungy look that you're going for, Hazel. I can't, I can't get away from this colour combo. It, I love it to bits. Is. I promised I'd move on to other colours, but I just saw this demo and I thought, oh, one more. Where's it off well? Yes, so all I did to, to come up with that is I've got my speckled egg and it literally is the easiest thing in the world to do. Just drag. It's the edge of the pad that you're putting on there. Just different areas. You haven't got to think. Don't think too much. Just, just apply the ink down. We'll just put a few. Look, I've got a big scuff there, but it doesn't matter. It's going to add to the flavour. Yeah. I'll put a darker bit down there as well. Then I'm going to dip in and I'm going to use some of my Mylar. Now, all this is, if you can imagine four of those together that's one of your 12 by 12 sheets and, and you made i've made all of those yeah yeah so you get your simple shape dies you just lay it on the top you put it through your machine and hey presto you've made yourself a stencil for 50 pence i think that's, that's all it's cost idea. you so i'm going to use the circle one and i'm just going to lay on there let's oh that's the wrong one don't cross contaminate um, let's have a little bit of that one on there. Now you're getting six sheets of your Mylar for eleven ninety nine. It's 350 microns, so it's a good weight to work with. Um, if you've got your electronic cutting machines, you could use it in that, following the instructions on your machine, to start to create your own stencils. Um, this is what Hazel did earlier on with the stars. I love that. I think it's fabulous. Stars, circles, all those different shapes that you are going to make. So not only are you going to become a paper engineer, you're also going to make your own stencils. You'll have your own business and you'll be here on her channel before we know it. Uh, 394204 is your item number, but nearly 80% of the stock has gone. How exciting. I bet you've had all of these ideas for different techniques and stencils. Maybe you've never really seen the stencil that you've wanted. Now, you can make that your own design how exciting uh 394204 is your item number and you get six sheets it's 12 by 12 but it's very very easy to cut down if you want to go for that right back to hazel so i'm going to take the music note stamp i've, I've just put three of the different circles down there and i'm just going to randomly pop a little bit it doesn't matter where i just want a little bit in the background because i've got some other pieces to go on there so when I made my um, Mylar stencil, the dies that I used, I, I took advantage and cut some different card pieces uh, ready to, to lay onto here. Now this, I don't want them all chocolate, so I'm just going to go over, if I can hold it, and add some of the teal, the peacock feathers on the top of there, because that's going to really bounce out. And I actually do want to ink around this one. hope I don't get it inky. Um, we'll take some peacock feathers. I know I'm going to do it. And then we'll just add a spot of colour around there. I now, think pink would look nice. It this would. Pink stock, and teal look yeah. gorgeous together. If you get uh, to this stage and you think, oh, I've put, oh, I've put too much on now, I'm going to go all over it, look. Um, I have stamped this with one of our sentiments from... I think it's Sunflower Wishes. I think it's one of the floral Yeah, places. we just had it on screen, didn't we? I'm just going to spot a little bit of water on there. From the sunflower, there you go. That is one, that is one of my favourite stamp sets of, of the um, it's choices. It's just one of them that I think you're going to come back to yeah. time and time again. Yeah, I think you've got something for every kind yeah. of card in there. Uh, but you do have other choices uh, to have a look at. That is your decorative sunflowers. You've got your daisies, you've got the bees and the dragonflies, and you've got your flowers and verses. I think that's a cornflower. Someone was telling me, actually. I think. Was it you told me that they use the cornflower in France? for a remembrance flower like the poppy it wasn't me no yeah somebody told me that so in france they use the cornflower the blue cornflower um because it's, it's a similar it's a similar topic really and then they use the uh poppy we use the poppy here in, in the uk but i found that interesting yeah the cornflower in, in france there you go right so i'm just going to layer that up get it as central as i can I want it to slide a bit and then I'm just going to pop in just a, just a little portion. Yeah. Again, I'm not even going to wink it back up, just to add a little bit of um, a little bit of interest on there, just to tie in with the theme. 
so then we've got these little bits that we're going to stick down so I'll just add a little bit of glue around normally I would say lay them out see exactly where you want them but you know what it's going to be one of them things the more you mess with it yeah the harder and you're like oh shall I put it yeah. so I'm just going to stick them on and hope for the best <laughs> I'm I, think gonna right. I think sometimes that's the best way to do it it is and do you know what the best cards are made really quickly yeah you know when you've forgotten someone's birthday and they're they're walking down the street and you're like oh I haven't done that card <laughs> you leg it upstairs and you'd get you your quickly stuff make out that card. it's like and they go oh what a lovely card and, Oh, that old thing. It must have yeah. took you ages to make Yeah. That. <laughs> it so didn't. Right. And then that last one is just going to pop on there. And it just matches the theme. I think that one does need... Had them in my hand. What are you looking for? The foam pads. Just they were there. literally... They were... And... I can't help you. Well, do you I'd know like what? I can't help you. But I can't help you. That are is... these the front under your mylar? No, because I just literally got a bit off there and I put them there. I bet you're all screaming at the telly set. Do you know what? We're going to glue it because yes, I think it would look really nice glued. Oh, they're not in, they're just at the top of the card, are they? Look, two foam pads at the top, near the circles. Go down a bit. That's the yeah. paper. Oh, no, that's not it. That's the paper. Ah. I cut that off. Oh, I thought that was it. It's not under the distress oxide, is it? You're not putting your distress oxide on top of them. No. Mm. That oh, is like a mystery. Again, it's it? a mystery. I like it. I like it. My foam pad's on a strip and um, I just don't know. It's fine, we've got over it. If anybody can rewind their uh, satellite <laughs> box right now and then fast forward back to real time it's and fine. then email in, please let us know what Hazel did with her phone pads before the end of the show. <laughs> Studio at hochanda.com. We will find those phone pads and reunite them with Hazel if we can. With right, your help. just pop that in there. Now there's one thing that I need to do. I wanted to put a sentiment in there. Look, I've got okay. it already in my platform, yep. but I've already stuck it in. Okay. So I'm just going to, there's two things you can do here because this will happen to you at home. I'm sure of it. I could stick it on a block yep. and do the classic thing that we all do and go, I'll oh, just stick that there and miss stamp it and yep. think, oh, okay. so what I'm going to do, I'm going to get one of these pieces of card. I'm going to ink up. Again, I could have done it in my stamping platform, and I normally would. Uh, I think this one is from Flowers and Verses. It is indeed. I hope lovely my, one of my favourite sets. So, Can I we think... say Merry Christmas to our USA viewers? Um, it's about this time of day they start to join us, so Merry Christmas to everyone over in America. It's lovely to have your company. I can say Merry Christmas, Uncle David. Oh, is he in America? <laughs> yes. Whereabouts? Connecticut. Connecticut. Uh, is that how you say it? Connecticut. Connecticut. Yeah. Yeah, Connecticut. Can you Cincinnati? Right, so just chop that down just so that it matches there. Then we can just apply a little bit of ink. I'm going to go for my Sweet Poppy brushes because these are amazing. And it's going to give me that lovely soft blend around there just to tie in and then that's just going to layer on and nobody would know any difference it just gives you a little bit more yeah if i wanted to take it another step further i can put i can add on some um put my miler on there but i'm yeah. just going to keep it nice and i guess if simple. you wanted to raise it up you could use your phone pads as you well. you could <laughs> if you could find them it would be an excellent thing to do <laughs> please if anybody can rewind the show and find them we are all intrigued as to where they've gone so that just finishes that off we'll turn that around for oh, you oh that is lovely hazel what a fantastic card and it's so interesting because someone will receive that they'll open it up and they'll go wow this is amazing and then you could keep you could actually cut that in half and put the front on your wall yes. as a picture yeah that more often than not if i do do a frame card i try not to put happy birthday in it yeah. i try and keep it kind of quite versatile yes. so that 
people can reuse them and, and put, pop them on their walls. Yeah, you're right. Oh, that's fabulous. And just watching the ease of use and the easy way that the inks were going onto the card, it was taking it so well and it came together so perfectly. Remember, you do get 10 folds included with your one day special and that's so you can start to make and create different style cards. So maybe you like this one, uh, which is the tri-fold card. So you might want to go for that one. Have you found your phone? <laughs> you found it. Where were they? They were literally by my scissors but they were upside down oh well there you so go so sorry <laughs> everything looks different when it's upside down um so whether you're going from the traditional card to something which is rather extra special like um a stand or an easel style card what would we call this one what's the name for an inverted stepper an inverted stepper there you go but you've never even heard of that now you're going to be making it because it does make a difference when you're sending cards to have them looking not only spectacular with your artwork but also fabulous in the folding mechanisms that you are now going to create because you're going to become a card engineer 580989 is your item number but we are limited we are very limited and this is limited stock as it, we're not limited stock, it's, it's a limited edition, should I say. So we're not sure whether the chocolate duo is coming back, but it is limited stock with you one day special. Uh, 50 sheets of each of the chocolate duo and the ice crystal works out to be 16 pence per sheet. It's a bargain. So we have Miracard for you and you get 80 sheets and it's 9.99 and it's only 9.99 for another 20 minutes because it's a happy hour deal. It is top quality mirror card. It really is absolutely gorgeous. Then we've got your rainbow mirror card. Um, this is on the same deal. It's 9.99, uh, but it's only for another 20 minutes, 300 GSM. It's absolutely gorgeous. Now let's come back to the mylar, oh my word. Now. Stencils are fabulous, aren't they? Because they add extra detail, they help you add layers to it as well. This is going to give you a chance to make your own stencils. This is an example that Hazel has put together. What you will be getting are your 12 by 12, six of them in total, micron sheets, uh, mylar sheets. They're 350 uh, micron. There you go. Um, and you can cut them into sets of four if you want to to build up your stencils you can make one big stencil if you like it's going to be entirely up to you but that's an idea that uh, hazel put together so this means you've got your innies and your outies when it comes to your stencils 394204 is your item number limited stock though 1199 1199 uh, so Check out your happy hour deals and all the other accessories like your red liner tape and your glossy accents. Oh, we're limited for the glossy accents, actually. Check those out on the website. You can pop them into your basket and check on out. £13.99. We've also got the masket sheets. Now, these were busy earlier on. Uh, it's a great way of building up your compositions on your cardstock by using your masking uh, sheets. You can stamp out your stamps on the masket sheets, cut them out, and then you can keep them and keep reusing them. You get 10 in total. Um, maybe you are doing some kind of workshop. This would be perfect for that. But we are 80% of the stock gone. 80% already gone. 999 976 569. Head to the website to see all the items we've got available for you. Right. Foam pads in hand. Let's head back to Hazel. How long have we got left on the show? 10 minutes. 10 minutes, Hazel. Right. No problem. Okay. So I've just gone ahead. We're going to make an easel card, which it's not on the um, instruction sheet, but we're going to start off with the... Um, the chocolate duo will just do the fold yep so it's halfway which is 21 and half of that which is ten and a half and I what that's raining do again it's really bad yeah, if you can hear anything at home like in the background sometimes you know we've got a flat roof here at Hochanda um, but we're never flat when we're inside um, <laughs> but you can hear the rain so if you are hearing something oh what's that it's the rain you'll probably see it if you look out the window okay so that was my half fold I folded it in that is going to be the base for our easel and then I got another sheet cut it in half and I'm going to attach it onto there so that's gonna I'll do it this way so you can see better yeah, so that will then go flat and I've proceeded and done my base bit. So 
I've cut myself some ice crystal to mat and layer on there and I just quickly and you can see how quickly I've done it because I've got sponge marks and everything I just scrubbed it around so I've got a little bit of ground espresso going around there and then I've chosen the wreath um, sunflower one now I get confused De uh, da, 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 da. decorative sunflowers that one's from yeah. It's just, I can't find the sheet that that's going to, oh, there it is. I've been good, I've stuck it back in place. So, shouldn't do that. I really like the brightness of the middle now. Now you've got that grungy effect going around the outside. Yeah, it's going to give a nice contrast. Yeah. So I've just, this is the biggest block I've got, but I just want to use these three here. Now I'm hoping that I'm going to have enough this is probably one of my driest pads because it's one that I use the most. Now, just while you are putting that ink on, I've got some news for everyone at home. The glossy accents have sold out. Uh, so well done, everyone that managed to get hold of those. It's not competition. I say well done because these are absolutely fantastic value for money. £13.99, pence, but they've gone and sold out. Uh, so I can't tell you any more about those, I'm afraid. But enjoy using them when you get them home back to Hazel. Okay, so I'm just taking advantage and using this just to stamp a few bits around the outside. Um, obviously, the more that you stamp on there, the more you've got to paint in. I'm going to keep it um, trimmed down a little bit because obviously I know we're going to struggle on time. I've, I've got so much more to show you. I'm just going to add, and obviously when you're at home, I, I never stamp like this, but yeah. for speed, that's I'm just doing it like this in the studio. So I've got a few different um, sunflowers there. That, that I think that'll do us. And then on one of the other sets, I think it's called Floral Verses, there is a lovely um, leaf set. And I'm going to just stamp some of those in. Now, I'm going to do one thing. This is the card. This is what we're actually doing. Look, so I've come around. Ooh. I've put my sunflowers in. We're going to use some of the mylar. We're going to use some of the leaves around there and a bit of stenciling. So yeah. it's a, it's a real nice mix on this one. And look how gorgeous that bee is on there. Yeah. It's really pop. Look at my hands. That so looks, that looks really mm, interesting. Effective. Um, Hazel, I'll tell you something else that's interesting. If you don't mind me interrupting, because okay. um, I I have to actually. We've sold out. Oh my word. The one day special is all in baskets. Make sure you check out. So if you're on the website, head to the checkout, just click on check on out, and then that's done. If you're on the phones, we will check you out. If any bounce back, we will let you know, but it has sold out. Oh my goodness, I knew we were having a busy show. Knew we were having a busy show. Uh, but we are using the Mylar at the moment, and uh, Hazel has made a stencil. I have, so I'm just adding a little bit more interest in there with the circles in the background and I'm also going to bring in, you see now I'm not going to be able to find that one am I? <laughs> now what are you looking for? Well, I'm looking for a stencil and it's not the one that I want but I'm just going to use this one Which anyway. Which one do you want? Because I have a star stencil over here that we can get to you. Uh, no, it's fine because I didn't want stars. I just wanted, um, it was a little background in one, ah, but it's fine. Okay. Any, anything will do. Um, that's like going from organised to not in 20 seconds. You're doing a marvellous job, Hazel. <laughs> I'm just going to add a little bit of yellow into this background. And it's just to tie in the sunflowers and it doesn't have to be all over. It's just kind of random little bits and it takes your eye off the edge of that brown there. And then I'm going to go for probably one of my most favourite stamps. We're going to have... Um, is this the musical one again? This is a script from the poppy. Ah, the script from the yes. poppy. This is a lovely set. Yeah. So again, we're just going to pop down a few little random bits in that background so that's your poppy stamp and you're also getting your true red uh, we'll have a look at that um, there you go you get your 10 sheets of your a4 it's true red it's a beautiful red oh my goodness it really is and then you're getting that lovely stamp set you've got the poppies your seed pods 
you've got with sympathy and so sorry you also have that text in there as well that is a marvelous stamp set for 14.95 it really is and you're saving money on that so treat yourself 441 936 and of course pop it for any occasion but you do have the additional text and so sorry and with sympathy in there as well okay so all i'm doing i've just stamped the leaves down and i'm just using a water brush just to pull the color um, and colour them in. I'm, I'm not doing anything fancy with them. I'm just, I just want a little bit of um, detail. I'm going to be careful of that sunflower. If you wanted to make them darker, just add a little bit more colour in. And then once I've done that, I'm going to ink some more up and just put a few black ones over the top. I was tidy and I put that back. And it just brings in like the bumblebees and things like that. Just brings the black into the picture. And there we go. So from there, I'm going to leave those ones uncoloured actually. Then we'll have a little bit of the wild honey and a water brush. Now if anybody wants to follow you, Hazel, and yeah. find out more information, how can they do that? I have my own page. It's called Dragon's Papercraft. Okay. Um, I, I put loads of stuff on there, um, different workshops and everything. Um, I also post on Pink Frog's um, page as well. We do little videos, little tutorials. Um, there's lots going on um, in the background. So, yeah. Lots of places to see Hazel and lots of places to see us as well. Of course, you can watch us on the app. You can download that for free to your Android or your iOS devices. On the computers, you can watch us on YouTube. You can watch us on your satellite box. Uh, you can watch us on Roku. You can watch us on FreeSat. You might be watching us on that already. Uh, but it's fantastic because it means you can take Hochanda wherever you go. So if you're upstairs, downstairs, or even in my lady's chamber, uh, you'll be able to craft away and watch Ho-Chanda. Now, you can probably notice that I really am not taking any time. I'm literally just chucking the ink on, um, but it's still looking really, really effective. I do like that. What's the yellow you're using? It's Wild Honey, and it is, again, it's one of my favourites. You know you get... I get into a rut with these inks because, I mean, yes, I've got them all. Do I use them all? Mm -mm. Well, if you've no. got your style, you've yeah. got, uh, you're putting your stamp on it. Of course so you speak. are. Yeah. yeah. Talking of stamps, we're now going to pop some more on here. We want um, a sentiment. I'm going to put birthday wishes this time, not happy birthday, just because we've got that choice there. Yeah. Um, and I'm also, that is off of Sunflower Wishes. I also, from the daisy set, I'm going to use a couple of these gorgeous little bumblebees. If I've got a little block. We've only got two minutes left wow, of the show. Let's um, get As Hazel's making this card, actually, bumblebees. let's wish everybody a happy birthday, whose birthday falls on Christmas Day. Wow. Because it, lots of people's they birthday do, yes. fall on Christmas Day. Yeah. And they only sometimes get one present and a Christmas card. We must remember to get birthday cards. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Paula's birthday is on Christmas Day. I thought, you know, that when you said that, I thought, did she just wish Paula a happy birthday? And then I thought, no, I don't think I remember her saying her name. That's because I've got my head into my bumblebees, look. <laughs> so for this last one, it will be a platform because I don't want to um, do it wrong at this stage. Now, can I just remind people of the happy hours? We're cutting that out. Um, oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, you've got your mirror card, top quality mirror card as well. It's single sided. Um, if you want with your mirror card, you can use this with your die cut. You can add a bit of gesso to here, add a bit of texture and really go to town on that mirror card. Absolutely. Even make um, some little, what do you call those? Little mirror things that you put on fabric. Uh, sh shisha mirrors. Yes, you could, you could make some of those. <laughs> did I say it right? I said sequins. What did you say? What did I say? Shisha mirrors. Shisha, shisha, shisha mirrors. Okay. You can make sequins as well, yeah. That's your mirror card. And we've got rainbow card. You can make a whole host of things with your rainbow card. Um, it's absolutely stunning and beautiful. 8273, uh, sorry, 827732. Um, this is your happy hour deal. It will be going back up.
at the top of the hour. She's only moments away. Uh, nine pounds and 99 pence, excellent bargain. 50 sheets of that. We've had some right cracking bargains on the show today. We have. So this is the base. I've just, I've already done it because I kind of knew that I'd be in this situation. <laughs> I've just looked my foam tapes on and prepared. Well I am done. so good. Line that up to the corner. And then we're just going to stick that one on there. So a bit of tacky. Could use your red liner left, tape. Hazel. We're going to do you it. You can do it. We're definitely going to do it. Chuck me glue down there. That gives us a gorgeous. Now, one thing I haven't done is coloured in my birthday wishes. But if I turn that around to you. Fabulous. How gorgeous does that look? Oh, Hazel, have a lovely Christmas. This is my last show for today. So have yes, a happy great Christmas. Christmas. You. Thank you for working with me. I've had a ball. No, thank you. I love what in fact, you've inspired me now. I want to go home and get all grunged up. Um, story of my life, really. Um, have a great day. We've got more coming up for you here on Hochanda after the break. But do check out your baskets. <laughs> Joseph Bear, Big Save is coming up next with Catherine. Let Leone loose and her Big Save after that. And then we're back with Scarlet Rose, Big Save. Hi, I'm Emma. And I'm Pam. And we're from Quilters Trading Post. We've been open since 2007, so we're coming up to 10 years now. We started our business um, in Cambridge, really, with a long arm quilting machine. We decided that we wanted to make a proper business of it, so we bought a shop in this area. We soon grew out of that because we became successful and we bought a school, and now we're in the school. We have four parts to our business. We have the quilting service, we run workshops, we sell patchwork and quilting threads, fabrics and notions, and we do patterns and books. That's our newest thing and our favourite being our crafters carry-all. We've really enjoyed being on Hochanda. It's um, made us famous really. We've got lots of people who now come into the shop and tell us that they've seen us, and that they've enjoyed the demonstrations, and they've watched us over and over again. Make sure you don't miss our shows here on Hachanda. Have you heard of Hachanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Achanda Freedom Members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with Achanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888 and join Achanda Freedom today. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family-run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high-quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaisercraft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Working with Achanda is fantastic for us. It gives us the opportunity to bring all of these brands and all of these products from all over the world direct to you, the crafter in the UK. Our products include stamps, dyes, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. So please don't miss Oakwood Archer shows on Achanda. I'm Hayley. Join me for some amazing Fabric Freedom shows. Fabric Freedom design all their fabrics here in the UK and they design them with quilters in mind. So they're really good at picking out those unidirectional prints. Really nice and small prints so you can work on smaller patchwork projects. And paste prints as well, which is one of their signature fabrics. They do lots more fabrics besides quilting cottons. So tune in to the Fabric Freedom shows here on Hachanda. Hi, 
am Matthew Palmer, professional artist with the SAA, the UK's largest and friendliest art community. The SAA exists to inform, encourage and inspire all who want to paint and that's exactly what you'll learn to do with me as your teacher. As a self-taught artist of 30 years ago, I know the challenges of a white piece of paper and learning how to paint. But with me, Achanda and the SAA, I'll show you how easy watercolour painting really is. I'm here on Achanda because I want to show you my watercolour painting techniques and I want to get you over that white paper fear and get you started and develop your watercolour painting. So whether you're a beginner or an advanced artist, I've got some fantastic watercolour techniques that will get you started and take you even further on your watercolour journey. So join me, Matthew Palmer, for my shows on Achenda. Hello everyone, good afternoon. It's lovely to have your company. I hope it's not raining where you are like it is here. We can hear it almost coming through the ceiling. Oh, a little bit worried actually. So if you hear some noises, that's what it is. It's not my stomach rumbling. Uh, let's have a look what we've got though. But before we do that, we have of course got a guest. This is a second visit from Barbara, our guest today, of course from Joseph Bear Designs. So we're going to say a very good afternoon to Barbara. She's way over there, ready for the demonstrations. Good Hello, afternoon, Catherine. Barbara. How are you doing? Yes, good, thank you. Good. Hello, everybody. Did you manage to get a cup of tea? Just about. In oh. the rain, in the pouring <laughs> Oh, it's, it is. It's awful out there. Well, second hour, different focus from the earlier hour as well. So if you did watch earlier, you will see different things on the counter. A little bit of a reference back as well. And we've got lots on the website. But to start with, we've got another brand new today. Now, look at this. This is just fabulous, isn't it? I love it. And it's so heavy, Barbara. It that's is. because of the yarn that's been used again, isn't it? This is a different one from the one we had this morning. But yes, it's another one of the recycled yarns. This is amazing. I love sort of this textured edge to it as well, this faux fur. Very nice. And of course, if you didn't spot it before, look who's there. You've even got a Joseph Bear of your own, a little button there as well. Now, everything's in the kit, isn't it? You've got the handles included as well. So all you really need then, because the instructions there, of course, all of the yarns, you just need a crochet hook. You only need a crochet hook. That's all you need is everything there for you to make the kit there. Amazing. I'm just going to take that off again and show you inside, actually, just so you can see how roomy this is, because it looks nice and flat there. But look, look how much you're going to get in there. And it is so, seriously, it's so heavy. And that's because the yarn is made from recycled products. Is this the sort of yarn that you would use for your macrame? It is, it's slightly like that. It's crochet and macrame, so you could use it for either. Lovely, yes. absolutely fantastic. So recycled, fully, 100% recycled as well, which is fantastic. Now, when we're talking about ability here, Barbara, how many different stitches? Would it be just the one stitch? Just there? one, just one stitch. I'm going to demonstrate it later on in the show. It's just one double crochet. It's two pieces put together with the fur yarn around the outside. Just one stitch only. Fabulous. So that means one. then, as a new beginner, perhaps this might be your first project. Twenty-four pounds and ninety-nine pence. Zero five seven five eight one. Now, if that smiles back, oh, this morning show, I loved it so much. And we have, if you did see it, we've got some cushions on. We will have a little look at those in a second, but we've got another version for you here. This kit, just, how could you not smile at this? Do you know, if you wanted to make this and gift it, I said this morning, you know, anybody that receives something like this is just going to squeal with delight, aren't they? And uh, Barbara did show us this morning how you can create the fur effect, and I think we're going to see more of that this afternoon as well. But this is our old English Sheepdog crochet cotton cushion, and you even get the cushion pad. Now, how often do we see kits where you get the cushion pad included? So it's the yarn. The pad itself, you've got stuff in there for the nose because, of course, he's got a snout under there as well. You get the fixings for his nose there and the eyes as well. And you can change the characteristics, can't you, Barbara, oh, yes, depending on yes. how you put the yarn on for the fur. Yes, you can do You can change where you put your eyes, where you put, <laughs> you know, and you can even use, if you want a light, lighter grey somewhere than the cream, you can just make it the way you want to do it. Oh, it's so tactile as well. Absolutely gorgeous. Just £27.99, 917951. Isn't it fantastic? Then if you're liking the cushion, maybe you want a handbag version. Look at this. 
Can you imagine walking down the street with this? Oh, everybody's going to want one of these, aren't they? They really are. So much fun again. Another great prize for you. Let me just open this up so you can see the size of the bag. So again, Barbara, just the one stitch. This is, this is done with the treble, and I'm going to show you just to make this, this bag slightly heavier and, and more compact. It's, it's a treble which is done with a twist, so I will demonstrate that. Oh, on my lovely. next demonstration just to show you how easy it is actually i can see that return to the back if you know your crochet stitches you'll know what a treble is and you can see that twist in there it's very effective actually really nice and this is going to crochet very quickly because yes. of the chunky yeah. yarn and that that um that you you actually crochet into the back and the front of each stitch and that really holds it together i love that so all the yarn again, you've got the handles included, you've got the elements that make the face, of course, the nose and the eyes, you've got the stuffing, everything you need, the full instructions, all for $27.99 again, 935211. Lovely. Now we've got a gorgeous scarf for you next. This is crocheted as well, and I love the, the wool that's been used here, the yarn. This is absolutely gorgeous. You've got that variation of colour running through. Really pretty colours as well with the pinks, and you've got the greys in there. You've almost got a sort of a a beigey fleck in there as well yes. haven't you? it's very pretty quite an open stitch on this one yes you've got the fringing as well so you're classing this as your summer sc uh, yes, scarf so you can i think can't use you? it as a sort of like a, a, a really just to nice. go around your shoulders with a, a coat or something or just a summer scarf it's, there's a lot of uses really it's beautiful so of course with the yarn included the full instructions a great price at just 17 pounds and 99 pence 491 539 isn't that lovely I really do like that now, we do have more for you as well. As we said, different focus this afternoon as well. So we are seeing different items. Now, we've got another bundle for you here as well. We've got a choice of colours. So this is your, this is nice, isn't it? The Gypsy Super Chunky Yarn Bundle. So we can make the cushion. We get the instructions There's as well the, for the, the cushion. The pattern for the cushion I put in with it as well. That's super soft as well. It is. That's 20% wool with the Gypsy. Amazing. Now, we do have those different colours for you. You can see how chunky this yarn is. Now, if you want the bracken, that's this one, that gorgeous green. Isn't that lovely? The next one, we have Inferno. Very nice. You can see why it's called that, can't you? Then you've got the Blue Bayou. A little bit of pink and purple in there. Fjord. You can see why it's called that, can't you? With the blues, the water. And then Freesia as well. Such pretty colours. Very nice. Do you know, I'm being asked again, which one would I go for? I love them all. Mmm... Oh, have I really only got to pick one? That one. I'm going for the green. Yeah, I'm going for the bracken. Love it. Green goes with everything as well. It is very tough though, because I really, I really do like them all. Twenty pounds and ninety-nine pence is what you're going to get. You're getting five of these balls as well. hundred grams in each. So that's five hundred grams of yarn there. Two zero three five six nine. You do get the cushion pattern, but of course you've got much more yarn there than you need for the cushion, haven't you, oh, Barbara? Oh yeah, I think it, it's just two and a half. Um, is that all it is? That's all it is. So you'd get two two cushions out of that, and they're a thirteen inch cushion inner inside there. Lovely. Well, you can decide if you want to make the cushion or something else. Now, we've got another fun item for you here. Now, let's have a look at this. I want to tell you what this is before it comes on the screen, but it's there now, so I can't surprise you. I'm just going to show you our little elephant's bottom, if that's all right. Um, I'm sorry. Yes, I've got to show the bottom because, look, isn't that clever? So there are two toilet it's rolls a in there. double toilet roll cover. Or if you Isn't didn't want that it, clever? You, if you didn't want it as a toilet roll cover, you could always just put a base on it and stuff it and have it as a stuffed toy as oh, well. Oh, that is such a good idea. You know, we often talk, those of us of a certain age, about we, we remember when we used to have the, uh, the dolls in the toilet yes. rolls, you know, with the crinoline dresses. Well, I've never, I don't think we can top this one. <laughs> I really do. And she's got such a lovely outfit on as well. So all of the yarns included again and the stuffing, the embellishments as well, because there are quite a number of embellishments on if you look, the buttons down a dress, look, the little decoration in there next to her ear. I was going to say in her hair, but she hasn't yes. really got any hair, has she? <laughs> and then uh, she's got those eyes as well, of course, with the fixings. Absolutely beautiful. She would turn her all the way around so you can see from the back. Well, you could even adapt it for a, a doorstop. Oh, that's a good idea. If you just just stuffed it, stuffed it, and then put some beans or yes. some rice or whatever. It would be a, a doorstop as well. I like that idea. 
I'll just stuff it, and it's a great toy, isn't it, as well, for a child. But obviously, watch out for the eyes if it's a child for a certain age. Sixteen ninety nine is the price on this one for the whole kit, Six seven zero zero three zero. Oh, I do like that. Now, we've got some more items for you as well. Now, let's have a look. We've got these. Now, these were very, very busy this morning. Now, this is the Retwist Cheney Cotton. This is 80% cotton, 20% polyester. You've got a choice of colours. This is the yellow-green. There you've got the pastels. And there you've got the pinks. That was my personal favourite, that one. But they're all beautiful. And again, totally... Uh, they, they're, again, eco-friendly, aren't they? Very, very, yeah. And they're very long-lasting. Yeah. They are Very beautiful. 8% cotton, 20% polyester. In fact, I know we've just seen those on the screen, but Barbara did give me one of each colour, just so I can very quickly show you how these look. Totally recycled. Absolutely fabulous, these are. And they work up as a double knitting, don't they? Yes, they do, yes. Lovely. 24 99 You're going to get three of each, depending on the colour you go for. It's going to be three of that particular colour, but of course you can go for multiples. Something else that we had this morning that was very busy. Again, this is recycled as well. This is your T-shirt yarn. 650 grams on each ball, and you are getting the black and white. 16 99 so you're getting an awful lot there for your money. 427-860. And you can catch on Rewind the earlier show to see what Barbara did with those as well. Lovely stuff. Right, Barbara, I think we can get over to you and see your okay. first demonstration. Yes, well, I thought I'd, I showed earlier today how to do the, the fur on the cushion, okay. which is what we started with here, which I can show you a bit later on. Now, I'm going to show you now to actually, how to actually do the stitch on the bag. Oh, lovely, the twist. The, the twisted, as you can see, it does seem to hold it together, um, and it's a lot sturdier for yeah. a bag. So... It, it's really quite a simple thing to do with just one treble stitch only. If you can do a treble, you can do it. So I've started off just to show you by doing a row of trebles here. Okay. So you're going to start to go back as you would to do a normal treble. I'm getting caught up here. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into the front of the first one and the back of the second. Oh, I see. So you can go front, back, front, back. Yeah. So always at the beginning of a row when you're doing a treble, you would do three train, which would just make it look like your first treble there. Okay. So you're going to go round as you would normally a treble, and instead of going in the stitch there, you're just going to go into the actual stitch itself, halfway through, into the body of it, pick it up at the front, and then you're going to make your treble that way. Take two and take the other two off. So you've got made a twist into the stitch itself. Okay. Then for the other part of it, you're going to go round to make your treble and go into the back in the middle of it. So you do that and then take it off as a treble again. So we're going to go to the front, which is there, round the stitch till you've got two, one, two and then to the back and you pick up you go in between there and then you pick the two up again and if i show you one more round in between the two okay. and then pull the two off like a treble and you can see it's now starting to give a ribbed effect it's so effective. And not only have you got the chunky yarn, but you've also got a very tall stitch there. One That's of the right, stitches, yes. Haven't you? So, again, it's going to mean that you're making this up very quickly. And it's quite easy to follow because when you're coming back the other way, you will know that the ones that are really prominent and sticking out like this are the ones where you go in the front. And the ones further back, you go into the back of the stitch. Okay, yeah. So that's quite easy for you to, to follow. And it's just a matter of just doing a treble. But just going into the back, like that, then into the front, like that. Lovely so you'll do stitch. that all the way along, and that really stands out. And then when you have your two pieces like that, you would then crochet them together to make your, your bag base. And then again, you would continue with the bag the way I showed this morning, which is doing the, the nose and then putting the fur on, as we did, 
I'll continue with this just to show you how to put the fur okay, on. Because this transfers over lots of the products we've got, doesn't it? Because we've got yes, the sheepdog bag, the sheepdog cushion. We've got more of the animal bags as well. Yes. Uh, we've got some samples further down the counter, actually, which hope, hopefully I can show you a little bit later. I've got more bags behind me as well. Lots of products on the show. So the technique that Barbara is going to remind of us uh, does cover multiple different kits, actually. It's just, it's just a matter of just cutting your pieces of yarn into little strips and then just going, putting your hook through, pulling it through again as if you would a fringe on a scarf, pulling it tight and then brushing it. If you've got a pet brush or any sort of brush, you can then brush it to bring out the furry parts of it. And that's very authentic when you think of a, a sheepdog or um, the cockapoo that you've got the kit for there any as well. Any sort of fluffy dog. Yeah, and you were saying earlier, Barbara, as well, that any, any of the yarn that comes off in the brush, because you will get some fibres oh, that yes. come into the brush, keep for stuffing. Yes, yes. This that I've got, I've taken off of the brush here. I always hang on to that and use it for stuffing. So any colours you want, you've always got the right colour stuffing for what you're working with. Wonderful, absolutely fantastic. Oh, and it comes together so beautifully as well. We'll have a little bit of a recap of the bag. Of course, that technique there with the yarn to create that wonderful effect is part of this kit as well. We do have the cushion, but we're looking at the, the bag right now. I'm just going to pick this up again because the kit does include, of course, the yarn that you're going to need. And Barbara, always make sure that you get plenty. You've got the handles for the bag in there. You've got the nose and the eyes included, and there's also some toy stuffing in there, because if I just, I do, I am very sorry for messing your hair up, but you have got a little snout under there as well, which needs stuffing with the toy stuffing. Really lovely project. Full instructions, of course, as well. 27.99 is the price, 9.35211. Then if you do want to go for the cushion, maybe you want a matching bag and cushion, why not? Then of course you can go for the old English sheepdog here as well. So the item number for this one is 917951. Again, you can see all of the yarn there. You've got four great big balls here as well. This is the really chunky yarn. So three of the grey, one of the white. The toy stuffing again there for the snout and of course those fixings that you require. There's even the yarn for, you know, for any extras you want to do or stitching together, that sort of thing as well. But most importantly for me with this, one you do get that inner cushion now when you get a kit I love the fact that sometimes you know if you've got everything there you can just get straight on with it all you need is your crochet hook you don't have to go to the shops riding around looking for the right size you know because it does add to the cost of it as well when you're having to shop around for all the bits and pieces 27.99 is going to cover everything for you there 917951 and then another new today is the fringed handbag. Very, very weighty. And that's because of the yarn that's been used. Remember the yarn, the main yarn in this one is 100% recycled. Really good, solid, hard-wearing yarn as well. Absolutely fantastic. You get the handles in there. You get the fluffy yarn that goes around the edge. And, of course, you're going to get those instructions as well. You even get your own little Joseph Bear button to go on there. 24 99 for this one, 057581. Now, if you do like the fringing look, of course, we've got the scarf for you as well. Let's have a look at that again, because very different to the bag, I know, but you have got the fringe effect on there. Barbara, I've just got to ask you the ability for this one. Is this one easy, easy to do as well? That one, I, I tend to try and do my patterns where there's usually one or two rows to make it for easy for beginners or people trying to learn to crochet. Oh, lovely. So, yes, that is only really basically one row once you've got the foundation row started. It's just one row of chains... And trebles, really. Wonderful. And you've got that lovely sort of open work there. So, I mean, you can wear this all year round, but I know it says on the summer scarf. I'm just imagining maybe if you do get to go on holiday or you're sitting out in the summer in the garden, you get a little bit of a chill at night. That would be perfect for popping around your shoulders. But also in the winter as well. Maybe you're in, indoors and it gets a little bit cold. Yes, like it does get in here in the studio. Then this is perfect for that as well. £17.99, 491539. And, of course, the instructions and three balls of yarn because that's what you'll need to complete this great value once again from Barbara and Joseph Bear. Now, we do have some other yarn to show you as well. Oh, these are nice. We had these on the earlier show. Now, great value again. Now, these are 100% premium acrylic, so totally washable, hard-wearing, those beautiful colours running through these as well. Now, you've got five balls, but you've got different options here. So we've got flash, we've got spectrum, glow. That's pretty, isn't it? Oh, vivid. That's my favourite, I think. And then Radiant, 
or you can get a mixed pack and there's nothing to stop you going for more than one so if you've got projects in mind or you want a taste of everything maybe the mixed pack is the one that you want to go for that was the busiest I believe this morning as well only 15.99 for all five balls of that you can find the details on the website of course we may revisit that later as well but we've got more yarn to tell you about oh this is great because this oh we've got the Helsa Skelter so all things about the fairground here so color wise we've got some great names for this carousel is the first one waltzer there we go big wheel and corkscrew there as well lovely variegated yarns again 16.49 and you're getting how many was it five, it's five of those as well you can see it in the picture can't you five of those 100 gram balls in that acrylic again 361 334 is the item number now something else we haven't shown you yet, we've got some more patterns for you here as well because those bags you can create all sorts of different animals or dogs as well. So let's have a look at a couple more options here. So if you look at the details there, in fact you've got the West Highland Terrier, we've got the Highland Cow which I've got here. Isn't that fabulous? The Highland Cow. Love it. We've got the Poodle as well. There must be another one because it says and and I can't see what it says. Uh, £5 saving on these anyway. £14.96. Oh, there's a Husky as well. I think the Husky might be on the back shelf somewhere, but we can see it on the details on the instructions. There we are. There's the Husky. You can see the Poodle just coming into the picture. And I've got the Highland Cow. 1496 152486 is the item number. Uh, do have a look at those. So we've seen the English sheep though. That's a different item number. So this one here, you can get the other variants. A great price again, only £14.96. is a £5 saving on these. I'm just going to see if I can grab the Husky from the counter, actually, because we've got that at the back there. There we are. There he is. Look at that. Oh, let me turn that to the side. Look at his snout. So dimensional, isn't it? Here. Oh, I love it. And he's got some nice blue eyes under that fur as well. Look at his eyes. There we are. Oh, beautiful. Barbara, you've got the poodle, I believe. I have, oh, yes. Where you are. This is the poodle one. <laughs> I just demonstrated how to do that one. Oh, that is fantastic. The Highland Terrier must be around the set West somewhere. Highland as well. Terrier, it's a white one. He's, I think he might be on the back shelf. I'm not sure. We'll see if we can spot him. I think that's the cushion that we've got on the back shelf that I can see. Oh, I white, can see it. Yes, white one. That's it. There he that's is. the one. We're going to show you in a little while, hopefully. We'll see if we can sort that out for you. Because we need to there. see them all, don't we? We certainly do. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to wander and get it, if you don't mind. Right, I'm coming back. There we are. There he is. Oh! And again, you can change the amount of yes, yarn that you use yes. for the fur. You, you could put a little bow or a top knot on the, the top of the head there if you wanted to. So you've got those options as well. What a great price that is. Think ahead for your presents for next year, birthdays, Easter, Christmas, whenever. It doesn't matter. One, five, two, four, eight, six. Right, Barbara, we can come back to you. Yes, now. right. Well, I thought now I'd show you about the Charleston bag. Oh, lovely, yeah. With, which is the other, this is called XX Lace, which is rather a, quite a soft sort of, as you, as you saw. And it was made with two pieces that are just put together with the fur. So you can see how quickly this actually grows with just a double crochet stitch. Okay, and lovely. that is about four or five rows. And that's just made that sort of size already. So I've made a smaller sort of sample to be able to just show you how, how it's made up and how to put it together. So there's my first piece that I've actually made. And I'm just finishing my second piece and I can show you how it actually goes together. So it's very um, durable yarn, this, and it just lasts and lasts. So it's, it's quite a, a good, good one to work with. So I'm just doing my double crochets here. Okay. So it's just a matter of going in the stitch, yarn through, and taking the two off. In the stitch, yarn through, taking the two off. So what size hook are you using there, Barbara? I'm using here a six. Wow. Right, okay, so nice chunky one. Nice chunky one, so it'll grow quite quickly. So in, off, and take the top. So if I go to the end of the row here, like that, in, and then take the two off. We're so loving your jumper, by the way, Barbara. Sorry? You're, we're loving your jumper. Your llama's watching, he's studying. <laughs> you. What you're doing there, I think he's learning to crochet. Yeah. He's taking it all in. Yeah. <laughs> So in, 
pick up and take the two off. Take the two off. So and now again, we've got it's to the end. And just repeating the same stitch. Yes, that's right. So we've got two pieces roughly about the same size now. Yeah. So what we're going to do now is, so if I cut that off, obviously you'll do this with the, the bigger piece there. So we'll just finish this piece off here. So you're going to put your two pieces together, right sides together. Okay. With your big bag there. Then you're going to take this, um, this fur yarn, it's called chinchilla. Ooh. Really soft. And you're going to use this to bind the bag together. So you're going to go in the first stitch here and the first stitch of your other piece. Okay. And again, you're just going to work a double crochet to put them together. So in, in the other piece, round, pull it through, and then take the two loops off. I have actually uh, included with this kit a stitch marker uh, if it helps you with trying to put working with this chinchilla. So you can actually see where you're working. So in and pull it off. And of course you get Joseph Bear as well. You get a little and a Joseph button, Bear button. You? That's right. Yes. Just to make it a little bit more unique. So we're coming through here, just picking up the stitch. Let's start again. And the nature of that yarn that you're using now, Barbara, you can't even make out the stitches. It does look like you've put some fur trim around when it's it does. When it's yes, because it, it just blends in with it. Um, nicely so it works out very nicely to do that so you're going to come through here and then take this through so i've got my glasses on so i'm not looking here i'm picking it up so that's what we need to do here so in again both pieces round pull it through and then take the piece off Lovely, and you can see again that's coming together really quickly. I've You've been, almost well, made a little small purse piece. To match I've got your to the bag. end, obviously, here, and then just take it off through. And you can see it's giving a nice sort of fluffy edge to the it bag, does, plus it? holding it together quite yeah. nicely here. Lovely. Then you're going to go along the bottom with the same technique here. There we are. Do you need to put any extra stitches in the corner or anything? Just go around if the corner. You, if you feel matter? you need to, but this is pretty good. To, it's pretty close together, these stitches, so it does hold um, quite well. Okay, as and you can see, it's, hel it's holding it, it as well. As you can see, it's holding quite well there. Yeah. And then you come all along the bottom here with your, with your chinchilla here. It's a lovely little matching purse to go with your bag now. It, actually, you probably would have enough <laughs> yarn there to make them a matching. Really? Yeah, a little small, because that was only four rows, so you could probably do a matching purse to go with that. That would be lovely. So you just get to the end here. Yeah. Or even just if you want to keep your mobile phone in there to keep it protected. Yes, it's probably the right sort of size. Mm. Um, so we're getting to the end here, to the next corner. So once we've done that, we then obviously go up the other side here, and yeah. then that's all put together. And as you can see, it's got a, a nice tight way to hold it together. That's when you've done that, to put your little tassels on, you're going to cut pieces of four or five inches long, okay. something like that. And you'll take them singularly like this, and then you'll need to go in. Can you see the stitches? That are here at the top. Oh yes, it's almost as though there's. It's a almost loop left there for in. you. Yeah. Put your hook in, and you can pick it up and pull it through, and then just go round again as you're doing a, a fringe, and pull it through, and those would lay down the front okay. of the and back would of you your bag. Would you need to trim those down, Barbara, afterwards, just to make sure they're all the same length, the fringe Yes, pieces. yes, you can then trim it as to what sort of length you, you need, or, you, you know, they might need trimming in. One might be slightly longer or shorter than the other. Okay. Just tighten them up like that, and you can see they're starting to lay down to continue they do, the and we can see on the original bag sample that we've got here as well, once you've completed those rows of the fringing, the lovely effect that you've got as well, you can see all the fur around the edge. So even the open top there, Barbara, you've used that chinchilla 
Yes, yeah, well, when you, when you come up the well. other side here, so when you come up this side here, which you're going to do, you would then, instead of doing the two pieces together, you go through the front, yeah. just on its own, round the corner here, and then back again to give that on the top. Oh, lovely. So you don't have to keep stopping and starting, you just keep going, working yes. with the same yes. yarn. Lovely. Well, you are getting everything, of course, with the kit, apart from that crochet hook, so the handles are included. Really good, strong handles as well, and very pretty. And you've got the button there as well, which is just the finishing touch. Of course, you've got the chinchilla, and you've got two of these beautiful recycled yarns as well. They are so strong and hard-wearing. They seriously are. Barbara says there's also a stitch marker included in this one. £24.99, 057581. And it is a new today, of course. Let's have a reminder of our sheepdog cushion because I just love it. It's so soft and cuddly as well. I can just imagine, you know, a child loving this, maybe cuddling it in the back of the car because you would want to use it as kind of a, a soother or a comforter as well, but it could be used as an actual cushion. Maybe you want one either end of the sofa. Maybe you want one on an occasional chair. Maybe it is just, of course, you know, if you want to use it for decoration or maybe you can't have a pet. Perhaps you live somewhere where you can't have a pet and this could be your pet. Just think... You're saving on those uh, trips out in the rain, walking dogs, no vet fees. Uh, you can still brush and groom, though. You can still have your, your fun time there. $27.99 is going to get you the kit for the old English sheepdog, 917951 including that pad, don't forget. Now, continuing on with the Old English Sheepdog, you've got the bag as well. Perhaps you want this to go with it. Perhaps you're going to go out with your bag, take your cushion with you, sit in the park, Maybe you've got a, a sheepdog as well that you could take for a walk. You'd all look like a proper little family, wouldn't you, out together? I love it. Uh, let me just turn that around again so you can see that stitching at the back as well. You've got that twist in there that Barbara showed us how to do a really good sturdy stitch. It does give this bag structure. It gives it weight. It's absolutely fantastic. And then the method of applying the yarn there as well, which is fantastic. And you can catch more of that from the earlier show this morning. Uh, that was 9 o'clock, wasn't it? 9 o'clock. Oh, Where's the day gone? <laughs> Everything there for you, 2799-935211. Full instructions, of course. Oh, I do still love this. This gorgeous little shawl. You get the yarn, of course, three balls of it to complete this. A lovely open stitch. And Barbara tries to keep everything so there's just a couple of different stitches or different rows. So it keeps it simple enough for someone that's quite new or wants to start a new craft. But, of course, someone that's been experienced with crochet, you might just want a simple project that looks very, very nice. And this is for you as well. $17.99 is the price, 491539. I love the colours of that yarn as well. The pinks and the greys together, beautiful. Then we do have some yarn for you as well. Now, we've got different choices for the next item. And you get a pattern thrown in as well. So if you wanted to make the cushion, you could do. If I just turn this around, you'll see it's the same the other side. But depending on how the, the colours fall in the yarn, of course, you'll see those colours in different areas. Really nice and soft, this one as well. That beautiful stitch. I was going to say frill, but it's not really a frill as such, is it? It's that scalloped edge, that it's stitch that you've edge, done yes. there. Very effective. Let's go through those colours again. You've got my favourite, which is Bracken. Then we have Inferno. Very nice, isn't it? Then we've got the Blue Bayou. Then we have the Fjords. And then we have the Freesia for you. That's pretty, isn't it? Do you know what? I, 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 can't, I do find it hard to pick a favourite. I love all of those. Five of those in 100 grams each. So 500 grams in total, plus the pattern for £20.99, 203569. Now, we have also got, of course, this was a busy item earlier this morning. It's busy this hour as well. I'm going to show you the three colour options. You're getting more than one of these in this next item number as well. Let me just grab all three together. So you're getting three of each colour that you go with. If you want more than one colour, then you can go for those multiples. So the one on the top is the pinks. Then we have the pastels, which is this one. Isn't that pretty? And then we've got the yellow green. Now, once again, this is the retwist yarn. This is your chainy cotton, 80% cotton, 20% polyester. It washes beautifully. It's so hard wearing and it's 100% recycled. It really is fantastic. Watch again the show from this morning. You'll see some kits with this included in as well. £24.99, pence, £5 saving on those, 591926. And then we have our lovely elephant. Oh, for if you didn't catch the earlier bit of the show, you just tuned in. I do apologise for what I'm about to do, but you will understand. We're just looking at her face, first of all. Then we'll look at her outfit. And then I'm just going to lift her up 
and show you all her bottom. There it is. Because she's got to a toilet roll, she's keeping them nice and fresh and hidden away. You don't need them on show, do you? She looks after them for you. Yeah, she does. But of course, if you want to stuff her, you can fill the bottom or close the bottom area instead. Oh, that doesn't sound <laughs> quite right, does it? <laughs> Use some stuffing and stitch up her bottom. Oh, that's not any better, is it? Oh, you know what I'm trying to say. 670-030. Just 16.99. You've got all of the yarns that you need there to create the elephant and her outfit as well. We just don't provide the toilet rolls. You've got to put your own in. <laughs> hey, I know where I'm going if there's a shortage. <laughs> Actually, that's a good point. How many people have had people pinch their toilet rolls when there's been a shortage? Hide them under an elephant. That's what you need to do. Love it. <laughs> we have got more for you as well. Great prices again on this next item. Now, you've got different options here, and we're busy on these as well. You get all four together? No. Because it's just the patterns. Do you know, I never even realised that. When I gave the details, I was thinking it was options. So the patterns to create all of these... Oh, let's bring them all in all together then. There's the Highland Cow. There is our beautiful Terrier. Oh, we've got the Husky here for you as well. And I've got the Poodle. And Barbara's got the Poodle. Oh, so you can buy your own yarns. And if you want to change these around a little bit, you can do. Can we see the Poodle as well? There we there are. There we are. There it is. <laughs> That's it. We can see. You can see it now. Oh. And that really does look like a poodle as well, doesn't it? <laughs> Lovely. I can't go without um, saying, we've got to mention Joseph Bear in his Santa outfit as well. Oh, yes, sat there. he's come already prepared yeah, for Christmas. Yeah, there he is, look. It's not a show without Joseph Bear himself. No. There he is, looking very festive. <laughs> 14.96 for those bags, 152486. Lots to choose from. Barbara, yes. over to you again if you've got some more demonstrations. Right, yes. Well, now I can show you um, how to do the, the actual the scarf. Okay. And Lovely. that's made out of uh, actual meadow double, it's called meadow double knit. And this actual shade is ash, which is your pinks and your greys and dark greys here. So I've just made a small piece here just to show you basically how the scarf works, which is just one row completely right the way through. So it's an ideal thing for somebody who's just starting to crochet or wanting to learn to crochet. So it's just a quick pattern right the way through which really comprises of five chains here two trebles and then two trebles and a, and a space there that's really all you would need to do this right the way through so and obviously if you wanted to do that with one of the other yarns like the gypsy or one of the other yarns there you just need to you could do that for a scarf and just use a different size hook that will be required for it so i'll I've show you how this one is it's surprisingly warm, that scarf. It's very warm. This, yeah, I, this did, warm. I was feeling a bit chilly, so I thought I might just borrow it for a second, <laughs> if you didn't mind. Right. I would probably wear it a little bit differently, but I've got to be careful of my microphone. So, uh, but it is, it's lovely and warm. Actually, I really, really do like this yarn. It's a beautiful colour as well. Very nice. It's warmer than I thought it was going to be. Actually, I, I, I put it as a summer scarf, but quite honestly, if you had that over a winter coat or something, that would look yeah, quite, quite nice. It would. You can wear it in lots of different ways. Seriously, it is absolutely absolutely gorgeous. I will just turn around to the back just so you can see the fringe a little bit. Oh, you can see my mic packs now. You see, we're giving <laughs> all our secrets away, aren't we? There we are. It's lovely. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. Right. So um, as, as, as usual, with, with every beginning of every row, you'll need to do um, three chain there. And then in your next stitch, in your next treble, you'll do a treble. Okay. So that really builds up the sort of pillars for the edge of the scarf there. So now the next thing you're going to do is five chain, which is one, two, three, four, five. So there's your next little bridge bit there. Then you're going to put two trebles into those two trebles there, one on top of each of them. So round in, and there's your first treble. Then, didn't take that off. Then round again. And there's your second treble. So 
another chain again just to split it then this is your little little bit in the middle where you, where you just need which just just separates the five chains as you go along okay and what you're going to do there for that is just two trebles one chain two trebles Lovely. into the one chain space from the row before the lovely thing, I mean, we've said this before, and it's obvious for anybody watching, and especially obvious for anybody that's done crochet, but if you're looking at taking this up as a craft, even when you've got a pattern that's been built into a design, you, when you've done your stitch, you've got one hoop on a, on a needle, on a hook. So you can pick this up, put it down. Do you know, if you do make a mistake, which isn't that often, really, because of the method of crocheting as well, it's so easy to unpull it because you always end up with that one loop. So, you know, you don't have to worry about dropping stitches and getting holes when you've knitted, I don't know, two yards of uh, garment up and then you find you've dropped a stitch further down with the knitting needles. I personally, this is my own preference, but I, I do both. I knit and I crochet, but I do, my preference is the crochet yes. for that reason. You can't lose your stitches, yeah, that's right. Because I need to put things down and pick them back up. I need to be able to sort of just get on with something. I can't keep you know that's right stopping yes. in the middle of a row of knitting so it is lovely if you've never tried before crochet we've got lots of yarns on the show lots of kits that uh, are for beginners as well and of course there's support out there i'm sure barbara from you if there, anybody needs any oh, help yes yes um yes there's um there's my um email address on the on every pattern so please contact oh, me lovely. if you've got a problem happy to help you Oh, well, we've got lots of gorgeous yarns, as I say, including these that I've got here as well. We just saw them on an image earlier on, but we didn't see them actually live in the studio. There's actually four colours. I'm going to go through those options. This is the Helter Skelter. Uh, so let's have a look what we've got here. We're getting five balls of this as well. So we've just got one ball of each colour out. Uh, I don't think the names were on this, actually. We Oh, yes, this one is Big Wheel. That's got some nice rust colours and greens in there. Uh, the next one is our waltzer, which, oh, that is lovely, isn't it? With the pinks, purples, and there's a bit of green in that one as well. Then we have the corkscrew. These are our rides at the fair, you see. That's where the name comes from. And then finally, our fourth one is carousel. There we go. Now, this one, carousel, seems to be our most popular. So that one might sell out the first, if we're going to see those sellouts, which we may do. £16.49 for, for five balls, remember, 100 grams. So these are classed as chunky as well, so you, whether it's knitting or crochet, that yarn is for you as well. We'll just show you the options again, just so you can see exactly what you're getting there, and then we'll head back over to Barbara. 361-334 is the item number. There we go. Right, Barbara. Okay, right. So I've got to, the, to my middle piece now, and I've just done my two trebles, my chain and my two trebles. So now you're starting to go back again. We're just doing the two trebles into the pillars again. One, two. Now I'm going to do the five chain, which gives you the gap okay, you had. Yeah. One, two, three, four five and you're going to end again with your two trebles at the end here so that basically is the the stitch to the scarf obviously when you've got the bigger scarf you'll go on again and then you've got your two trebles and your space but that is just one row all the way through the scarf and it's lovely as and well and then of course when you finish that you do the fringing cut your pieces of fringe exactly the same way as i've been showing you how to do the okay. fringe on here and then you'll pick it up two strands on every space every so often as you go along the top and the bottom of the scarf oh lovely and that's going to give you a nighty, nice even space it's because you've got those stitches to work to that's so right. it's just case yes. of counting those out yes lovely and despite that being a, a, a double knitting um, so it's still a, a decent thickness of yarn, but compare it to the chunky, it's much thinner. But you can see there with the design, with the pattern that Barbara's got, it still crochets up very quickly it as does, well. It does, yes, yes. And as I say, once you've got your pattern, if you wanted to use a chunky or a super chunky or whatever, you just use a, just a different size hook and you can use the same pattern. We do exactly the same job. Lovely. Well, we have got, of course, the fringe scarf crochet kit in its entirety in front of me here as well. I am still wearing the sample because I genu genuinely am very cold, or I was. I'm not now. Uh, lovely to see that you can see the fringing on there as well. Let me just find the end of that again so you can see the fringing. Now, it's, you know, it's not on the model itself. 
There we are. Nice long fringing on there as well, which shows you've got ample yarn included in the kit. Three balls of this. Um, let me just have a look at the washing instructions, actually, on this one. 40 degrees wash. And it is a premium acrylic as well, so that means it's going to wear very well. It's very soft and it's going to wash beautifully. And it's your four millimetre needles that are advised on that one. 491539 is the item number. Now, the sheepdog bag, let's give you a recap on that, because, of course, we've got the patterns for the other versions further down the counter, but this one's an actual kit. So you get your yarns, you get the handles, you get the stuffing, you get everything you need. You just want to uh, uh, supply your own crochet hook for this one. Have some fun with it as well when you're brushing out that hair and bringing it all together. £27, pence is the price for this. Great fun project, 935211. Now let's have a, a better look at the sample again because I just want to point out the stitching. Sometimes you see we get viewers that come in part way through and have missed when we've been describing the stitch or the demonstrations. You can see also with this kit you do get the eyes and you get the nose which are easy to attach as well. In fact if I open that out you can see the safety backs of those eyes themselves. There they are. So they're not just going to pull away. And then the handles, let me just show you inside again so you can see how wide you can actually get that. A really handy little bag actually, but it's the structure of the stitch, that twist there that Barbara was showing us earlier. It's a treble stitch, but you've got that twist to it, so it really does give that structure to the bag. It's very, it's quite weighty to hold, and by that I don't mean in a bad way that you're not going to be able to carry it, of course, but it means it's going to hang very nicely from those handles as well. Lovely item, 935211 is the item number and everything that you require there for that 27.99. And then of course you've got your cushion as well, including that pad. You don't need to go out and look for your inner cushion, it's already supplied. Let me just turn that around so you can see the back. Essentially what you're going to make are two circles like this and then the fun starts when you start to apply the fur. Of course you've got the snout under there as well and everything you need. 27.99, 917.951. There we are. Barbara, I think you're going to show us a little bit more, the technique of how to apply the fur, is that right? I'm just still trying to do that, so it gives you an idea of how it's going to come along and look when it's actually finished. So I'm going okay. down the other Lovely. side of the snout now. Okay. There. And we'd need to brush this. Bit now. So and using that little pet brush again, or a, pet, a soft oh, brush? Fantastic, the, with the... With the, uh, the little shot. bristles, yes, little with the bristles, bristles on that. So yes, that comes through like that. So it'll give you an idea of actually how it's taking shape and it's quite quick the way it comes together. And obviously you can trim it as to whatever Aww. you want to do. You see it's starting to come together there now with the other ear. And then you would build this all the way up to here. And then for the base bit here, you'd need to put some down there as well, just to cover up round his chin okay and fill it in there give him a few whiskers give him yes give him a <laughs> bit more so it shows you it's how really it depends on how you want to put it together or if you of want course, to put a different yeah. color or a bit of gray in or a bit of black in or whatever you can more or less make it exactly how you how you want it or to to match your animal. Of course. I will just explain to everybody at home watching. I know you're working on the cockapoo kits, and that's why you've just got that one Yes, that's one the one color. I brought with me, yes. Yeah, which is another kit that we didn't have on earlier. You'll find it on the website. So, of course, when it goes for the Old English Sheepdog, you're going to get the greys already in that kit. That's right, yes. So then, of course, you've got to the bottom bit here, which you brush. And as oh. I said earlier, hang on to all the, the fluff that comes out there. It's perfect for stuffing. Yep. Is Again, so, so you can reuse it. Do not it. waste anything. And then you just need to trim it off, sort of in line with the cushion. So it gives you an idea of exactly how you do the snout, the ears, if you want to cut those off. And one thing to hold it into place, what I actually do to hold it into place is use hairspray. Really? Use hairspray on here. If you can see, I've got some here. So if I was to spray it here, a little bit here. And then um, you can then put it and it absolutely goes into a, the right sort of position you want oh, I love it. to stay exactly how you want it to hold. If you didn't need to wash it then, Barbara, would you rebrush the Yeah, you just rebrush well it just again. Just re-spray with her just spray. And, just re -spray. and that holds, <laughs> it. holds it, if you've got it on a, oh. on a settee or wherever you're going to have it, 
that just holds it in the plate when it doesn't sort of oh so that will hold it in in place for you you could really have some fun with these couldn't you <laughs> a little color maybe to add as well so the one that barbara's brought with her that she's been demonstrating is from the cockapoo kit because you get that in two different colors this is the old english sheepdog done in exactly the same way so it is the yarn that differs because of course you've got your white on your gray in this one but you can see the cushion at the back there very easy to make this as well seriously anybody looking for a new craft you could start with this couldn't you oh Barbara? yes this quite is easily. easy enough it's just trebles um for <laughs> the cushion itself it. and then i've shown you exactly how to just put this just like putting a fringe on the scarf really and then just giving it a brush Oh, do you know, if I made one of these to look like my dogs and I sat it on the sofa where they sit, they would not be happy. <laughs> they would they think there's definitely an imposter there. Do you remember our little bear, Snowy? See, he went home with me. I don't put them together. He has to look after my kitchen for me. He's still in my kitchen, sat on his chair. Yes, he's <laughs> coming back to the studio soon, though, I think. Uh, £14.96 is the price for the patterns you are getting all four of them i didn't even realize you see i wasn't paying attention was i earlier on the highland cow this is great fun he has got eyes as well under there yes he does all that fur. and look at his little horns on the top of his head so much fun and then of course we also have the pattern to make our terrier that could be a maltese terrier that one because it's all white the husky is there and of course barbara you've got the, I've poodle, got the poodle again there, here yes you? Oh, so there is a difference between the shape of the snouts and things like that as well, isn't there? So yes, when you go over right, the pants, yes. and of so course the, the Highland the, Cow is completely different. The Highland when it comes Cow, to the features. really, the only difference with doing the Highland Cow one is I don't brush it because oh, obviously he's it. a bit more ragged and yeah. not quite so well groomed. So you just put it on as as a fringe and just don't brush it. And trim it, it to how you how you want to do it. Oh, you are clever, Barbara. <laughs> five pounds saving as well. You can't get much better than that. One five two four eight six. Let's go to the website. That's where we'll find everything under Joseph Bear, of course. You can see all those wonderful kits there, including so many ingredients for you. All you really need is the crochet hook. If you're going for the yarns, of course, you've got the choice of making whatever you wish there. Do take a look, of course, at those recycled yarns. They are absolutely brilliant. They are. And they're going to go such a long way. So you can decide what you want to make with those. Uh, then we've got, oh, I've just noted we've still got a bundle of crochet books there as well, which is going to be very, very useful. We've got fabric, we've got zips, we've got all sorts. This is a really good bundle. I've had a look through some of these. I keep being asked the same question, actually. Uh, if anybody saw me make the rabbit-eared baby hat the other day that Scott ended up wearing, it wasn't actually from one of these. It was a different bundle, although some of the books that were in the bundle are in this one. But I've had a look through these. They are great projects. Nice, small, easy projects to do as well. Oh, I think we're going to sit. Can we see? Can we see what I'm seeing? Oh. It was just a... <laughs>